that going. Share the screen. Okay. Everybody see that all right? Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. All right. Nice. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Man. <laughs> yeah, that was, that's, I shot that about four days ago uh, on the patio. Mm -hmm. Is that background your, your wall of your house? No, that is, uh, I used a 750 millimeter lens and it's just that blurry. The, oh. It was a field oh. behind me, the grass and stuff. Wow, mm -hmm. it's beautiful. Yeah. Nice color palette. Yeah. I'd, I'd probably tweak the uh, tint or whatever a uh, little bit to, to get it but it should be, it would probably was more brown and I brought a little more light in, yellow into it. Very nice. Is that Thank rosemary? Uh, I don't know. Oh, looks like it's just a big bush that's been the, against the wall. And that was, that was one of the few twigs that was uh, sticking up above the wall. Uh-huh. Mm. Right. A butterfly looks like a survivor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's, his wings are pretty well beat up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's been through a few. What do you think about um, maybe vignetting the uh, the edges a little bit to bring more attention to the center? Mm, okay. Yeah, I think that might help on there. Just either that or cropping down. Okay. Yeah, I like that one. All right. Oh, Sandhill Crane time. Yeah. Oh, wow. This, uh, I took this on the way into Green Valley this year. This was up uh, by Bernardo. Hmm. Um, I don't know what the, it's just north of the uh, Apache Boss Wildlife Area. Oh, okay. Uh, this, this area here doesn't have much water, but it, it's uh, got a lot of feeding and most of the, the Birds come there during the day to feed, and, and uh, they're just they're there by the thousands. Wow, they're beautiful, they got, beautiful. Birds. There's uh, roads you can drive. There, there's there's canals that they use to pump water, you know, to irrigate the, the cornfields and stuff. And then you can there's dirt uh, gravel roads you can drive up and down in there, and you can you can get right. But you got to move them off the road to drive through a lot. Of <laughs> Uh, I really like the the uh, warm foreground with the blue background in the uh, mountain. Yeah, really well balanced. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Very nice. And great stop motion and yeah, beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Awesome detail. Um, what shutter speed did you use? Uh, that was uh, that was my seven fifty. Uh, it's actually my 500 on on the D500, which makes it a 750. Not sure what power I had. It was uh, the minimum is 300, so it's somewhere between three and uh, and 700. Um, and I had the shutter speed locked on. Uh, I think it was a thousandth of a second, and the ISO or the uh, aperture was on f11, and then I let the mm -hmm. ISO and automatic let it do its thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, good. Very great detail. Yeah. That was handheld too. Wow. Oh wow. Nice. And I always always use the burst shutter speed. So that way out of four or five, I usually usually get a sharp one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. Very nice. Thank very you. Nice. Yeah, very good. Uh, now this was now. This was yeah. that Apache boss. Um, and it, we were just sitting up there along the along the edge of the road as they drove in. That looks like a really young Kestrel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's not very big. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's still really young. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah amazing detail in the feathers and a little. Highlight in the eye. Yeah. Well, the beak uh, shows up. I did run that oh. through uh, sharpening. Mm -hmm. Oh. And after I got to where I wanted, I ran it through uh, 
uh, topaz sharpen, just mm -hmm. do the automatic one. It, it made it noticeably better. Oh. I like this little leaf hanging in the crutch here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I love the diagonal line there. With I didn't the, see uh, that one. I should have cropped that one out of there. Yeah. They took that one out, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was looking at all the twigs on the right, trying to decide whether I wanted to get rid of them or not. Yeah, I didn't well, you notice got them, that one. Yeah, you got them dancing along here. Maybe just darken the highlight on this one, and uh, yeah, yeah. we're in this this range. I think it it might be all right, but I I could lose that too pretty easy. Yeah, that that one that one bothers me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because my eye keeps going there. Yep. Yep. Nice. Nice. Thank you. The other thing when you're using sharpening, you know, topaz, um, you may want to mask out the twig. So yeah. you're just sharpening the subject. Oh, okay. I guess the twig's getting pretty sharp there. Yeah. And then, then you won't get this halo either. Oh, I see. I didn't notice that before. Yeah. Okay. The other thing you can do is just, just, you know, make it for the bird. Then you don't get grain in the sky and other things, depending on how how much how high your ISO is you know sometimes it'll mm. edge up the green and the noise in your sky too but mm -hmm. you know here I see it, it it got a little little too sharp through here so yeah, and that actually down yeah. to the, the left side of it uh, mm. that wasn't in it and I I brushed it in so I should have mm. left it alone <laughs> yeah that's okay now, the other thing you can do too is before you go to sharpen, just just take your. I don't know if you're starting in Lightroom, but if you're starting in Lightroom, go to Photoshop, or if you're starting from scratch, just go to Photoshop, and then make a layer, and then take take your layer and go in and just sharpen the whole thing, and then bring it back, and then use a mask just to bring through the areas you want. Oh, sharpen. okay. I didn't think of that. <clears throat> That's the best way to do it. Then yeah. You don't have to worry about masking and fooling around in uh, in, in the uh, topaz sharpening. So uh, I remember uh, it's a good way to do it. Okay. Aha. Somebody's on the prowl. That was just a lucky shot. This is off. I was standing on the patio mm. and uh, he come a walking in and golf just on the other side of out of the end. This picture is two golfers down there. And that's he was walking oh. all once he seen them and he's squatted <sighs> right down and <laughs> And waited for them to pass before he got up and walked on. Yeah. Uh, thought he was spotting lunch. <laughs> yeah. Well, it kind of looks like it too. Yeah. It does. It does. But it was two golfers that he was watching. Yeah. yeah he's focused. Mm -hmm. that's, again, that's that 750 uh, yeah. handheld. Okay. So, so that's your natural fall off there? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. You see, the other thing you might want to do to bring attention to him is maybe soften this foreground or, or darken it or both. Okay. Yeah, that would help a lot. Did, did you have any kind of filter on that, Don? No. Okay, because I'm just, I'm looking at the background and it looks like almost a, like an oil painting filter back mm. um, Yeah. It's almost like just, a bit of motion yeah. in there. Yeah. But but he's sharp. Well, he's yeah. pretty close to a tree there. Yeah. A bush. But uh, yeah. Interesting. Okay. Oh. Wow. Now that one I did <laughs> quite a bit with. <laughs> the, the truck is from Gammon's Gulch. Yep. And then the uh, the snow and the stars are from Photoshop's new AI. I put the uh, winter, winter scene in, and then I brought a star scene in. Wow. Putting, <clears throat> trying to bring them two in together uh, on the same go-through, it just wasn't working for me. So I did the uh, started over and did the stars first. Got them to where I wanted them, and then I saved that, backed out, and then brought it back in and done the uh, the uh, winter scene. Then 
and I had better control and I can, but I see uh, there's a spot up there on the right hand side with twigs sticking up, but I didn't get them uh, cloned out. But, uh, yeah. So that, that was in Photoshop? Yes. Yeah, there's a, I think it's added to the neural filters they have. Uh, filters. Yes, it is. Yeah. Some okay, stuff. I just haven't discovered that yet. Yeah, <laughs> oh, that, there's one. <laughs> That's a fun thing. Yeah. yeah. With a it doesn't work on everything, but it it's amazing what they can, what it does. Yeah. That's a that's a nice effect. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Because when I first saw this, I'm thinking to myself, now when did it snow down here? <laughs> <laughs> when did yeah. it get now, the, when I first got it, the, the snow actually was on on the truck too, and it, it hit the truck. So I I had to brush that off. Oh, okay. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Okay. Because you couldn't tell that there was a bed on the truck. And, and the hardest part mm -hmm. I had was on the windshield, uh, trying to get the stars to come through the windshield there. That was oh yeah. Yeah. on both windows, the back window and the side window. That yeah. was yeah. that was a struggle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess the weeds that are right in behind the bumper were part of the truck image and then yes. the rest of the plants were all part of the winter scene? Well, all the plants were there. Oh. All, the only thing that the winter scene added was snow. Oh, oh, okay. Well, the way this, uh, this neuro filter works is it actually takes AI and, and figures out where to put the snow in your scene. So it, it, it oh. actually adds it to your photograph. Oh, okay. That's cool, that's pretty cool. Hmm. Yeah. Again, on this, Don, you probably could have uh, saved the layer uh, version with the truck and everything where it was, and then had it pile the snow wherever it went, and then just mask out where you don't want it, you know, by painting through different layers uh, to, to pull. So it. that's kind of what I did. Just yeah. Got brought the snow in. And, yeah. And then painted the snow off of what I didn't want. Yeah. Uh, the, yeah, so I think it'd be kind of cool to have like a little bit of snow up, you know, on one of the fenders or something, yeah. just to tie it together. Maybe. Well, that's the one place it didn't land. <laughs> of course. <laughs> it was on the top and on the bed and hit the back wheel. And... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course not. Well, the next point I guess is... I could have cloned the spot. Maybe yeah, they, 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 <laughs> no, I think there, there is such a thing. <laughs> yeah. I think there is. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. But I used that for yeah. a Christmas card this year to send out. Oh, oh. 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 No, no, I, didn't, I, I didn't leave the Merry Christmas on this one. I took the Merry Christmas off. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Nice job. Thank you. Beautiful yeah. picture. Yeah. Well. Good to see your images back, and uh, thanks for bringing them. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. it. All right. <laughs> Maureen, we haven't seen you here for a while. Let's take a look at you, and then we'll switch back to the gyms. Um, I went on a, a bird walk at Tumacocri on Saturday, mm -hmm. and this is some of the people that were on the walk, mm -hmm. and I mm -hmm. thought it was just a, a nice, had a nice feel with the light coming through the trees yeah. mm -hmm. uh, and I just processed it using one of uh, Topaz filters mm. and um, gave it more of a painterly look and, and mm -hmm. the people become just like not so much the subject anymore. Mm -hmm. I think the subject really is the light. Mm -hmm. you know, a little more impression is it? Is this the uh, part of the Anza Trail that's behind the... Uh... Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's real pretty. I think that was on the ends of trail. I love the way the trees were kind of making mm. a canopy uh, yeah. over the trail. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. And how uh, the weeds were lit up by the sun. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's nice that the people have kind of bluish clothes on too to stand yeah. out. Yeah. In the yeah, that's true. Off warm. Yeah, so you get your warm and cool, and then you get your little dapples of sunlight everywhere. That's very nice. Yeah. That's all I did with that one. All right. Let's now, this see. next one is, is the before at the bottom here? Um, I put original and I put um, yeah. edited. Okay. All right. So I think that's okay, the that's the original. Yeah. I like to take pictures of 
lots of things in nature and I use them as um, backgrounds. I use them for textures. Mm -hmm. And this is one I took, gosh, maybe five, six years ago of all these flowers blooming. Mm. And um, I just saw it kind of flipping through and I thought I wanted to do something with that. Yep. So and then, oh, okay. I ran it through, um, I think this was the Van Gogh mm. um, mm -hmm. look in, um, in uh, Topaz. Mm -hmm. And I, I just really liked how it came out and then it put those pretty purples in there. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I just mm -hmm. kind of mm -hmm. had fun with it. I, I tried lots of different filters before I tried mm -hmm. this one and I like this one the best. But it's kind of personal choice, you know. Mm -hmm. But I'll do something. Very, very nice. Yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah. And then the next one. Yeah, to bring these brush strokes up, you might want to try Topaz's uh, precision detail and precision contrast. Okay. If if you want to do that, you know, if it's a background. Or a different story, look. Yeah, you may want to leave it the way it is if you're using it for a background, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you could do that. Yeah, either a background or as a, a texture layer. Mm -hmm. I think it would work mm. nice. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So is this the before on this one? That's the before, just a plain prickly pear mm -hmm. uh, flower, a little yeah. bit overexposed. And then I took it into Topaz. Oh and played with the HDR, mm -hmm. not HDR, I'm sorry, the color is that one, it's, it's got an H in it too, the, the color adjustment mm -hmm. to pull mm -hmm. and played around a little bit with the hue to make it a little bit more interesting and uh, pull out some, some pinks and purples. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know how many different, I did several different um, I did several different types of filters on different layers. And then I went back and cleaned off the center. So the center is pretty much the original center where the little green is, because I like that, mm -hmm. that green. And, and it turned it more yellow mm -hmm. when I did the different, um, did the different uh, filters. Mm -hmm. Nice. It was very nice. Effect. And you know, I, I submitted another one, but I don't see it here. And that's okay because it's, I did the, the. Oh yeah, here it is. Oh, you got it. I didn't get all the way down. Okay. Is that the Topaz 2 studio that you're using? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let me close these up. Thanks for bringing that up, Maureen. Oh, I just thought maybe it didn't go through. Yeah, I'm sorry like Alan isn't here because I did an Alan on this one. <laughs> <laughs> There's five photographs of, of oh. this tree well. that uh, I tried his quite no um, that I tried taking photographs all the way around the tree uh -huh. and um, <laughs> I've got to go hold on a second yeah, it looks like you got a doorbell yeah. over there. Yeah. All righty. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's an interesting shot, yeah. Yeah. I'll blow this up a little bit while she's gone, just so you guys can get an idea of what's oh, yeah. mm. on there. Yeah, lots yeah. during that. Okay, sorry about the disruption. Um, oh, no. So I put the, I walked around the tree and took photographs I couldn't do like a 360 because there were some, some of the views were ugly, mm -hmm. you know, but you would have in the background. I didn't want to futz with the background too much. Mm -hmm. Then I took all the five layers, put them together in one image. And then each layer, I went into Topaz and did a different treatment on it. Mm -hmm. oh. Then I changed opacity on the layers. Mm -hmm. Did you do any kind of blending modes or just opacity? I did. I did. Um, I like? did blending modes and opacity Excellent. to get down to this look. And um, <laughs> this one I like the best. And then I went through and some, some of the layers took um, 
mask that particular treatment out of the image. So I really liked how the, um, the plants on the left underneath the tree, how they kind of came out and looked kind of snaky and, <laughs> and, and I like the colors and they kind of went away with some of the different um, treatments. Mm. So I that turned I, out I, really, that's, that's really beautiful. Marie. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I was channeling Alan. <laughs> I'm going to try that. I, I really yeah. enjoyed, um, enjoyed watching him do this. And I thought, well, yeah. look at a tree. Mm -hmm. I'll try it. <laughs> so that's my tree. All right. That's fun. Yeah. And the next one. Let's see. I think that's the original. Yeah. It's just a weed, <laughs> you know, yeah. along the, the Anza Trail. Uh, these are called monkey weeds and they're really annoying and they get really, really tall. But the way the light was hitting it, I thought it was interesting. Mm -hmm. And then oh. I ran it through a, a topaz filter to kind of bring it out a little bit so that you could see more of the weed and less of the background. Mm -hmm. And it's it's kind of subtle. It's nothing exciting, mm -hmm. but I, I kind of like the, the the overall look that I got. I was I'm just curious if you ran it through dehaze or something to pull down some of that milkiness. Of the, um, yeah. Oh, that's a good yeah. idea. Yeah, let's just do a real quickie on that. Let's yeah, so that. whatever whatever <laughs> look I used in Topaz came up with that kind of hazy look. Mm. Right, now, I, I believe there's a dehaze in one of the effect uh, layers in Topaz, but since you're already out, I guess we'll just go to camera raw. And, yeah, raw has dehaze. Yeah, we'll just go to dehaze here and kind of. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that. Oh. Yeah, something yeah. like that. I like that. Yeah. I think that might work out. Yeah, it, <laughs> it was a little too foggy. Mm -hmm. yeah. foggy. And then uh, let's see what else. Maybe we uh, might want to try a little gradient on it. Let's see if maybe just uh, darkening the background. Oh, I like oh, that. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's that's enough to do it. Yeah, it, it changed yeah. it dramatically. That's your before and after. Yeah. yeah. Huge mm -hmm. difference. Yeah. yeah, I might even crop a little bit more of the left side off. Sure. Yeah, yeah. that looks a little. Yeah. Now, when you're using messy. a stick like this with a texture, you almost have to get the crop before you do it, so you carry the stuff with. Right, mm -hmm. and that's what I did. I did crop it first. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, thank you. Oh, sure. Thank you. Appreciate that. Okay. So let's go back to Jim, Jim Bowman. <laughs> yeah, I went out to uh, Whitewater Draw. You guys know that place? Sure. Yes. <laughs> so uh, this was uh, an image taken at Whitewater Draw. I've got most of these are 600 millimeters and um, probably about F-16 at 2000. Mm. Uh, was this recent or? Yeah, just last uh, Friday. Oh, good. Mm. So were there a lot there? Oh yeah, there's a ton. Mm. Excellent, good to know. So yeah, if you have a, I think that uh, the club is going. Yeah, I think there's uh, a, a bus trip, yeah. Wow. Yeah, so it's full or not, but what time okay. of day? It's like you today, it was like maybe noon or one. It's Probably. because they were coming back, back right? Mm. So, uh, yeah, that's the, the drill is you catch them on the way back, either that or you gotta wait until evening and then you gotta stay the night and all that, right? <laughs> so, I wasn't about there, yeah. We yeah done Go I've been there early in the morning and it sucks. It's cold. Pick your yep. <laughs> yeah, th this is the best time to come is when they're coming mm -hmm. back from feeding. Yep. And um, you can get them coming towards you because in the morning they're flying away from you. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's cold and it's very noisy. It's kind of exciting, but 
Yeah. Get good photographs. <laughs> right. Okay. And so this was, uh, oh, yeah. you know, a couple of ducks there. And I just, uh, I, I used topaz for the background to kind of like soften uh, that background and the kind of ugly muddy water sort of like, because mm -hmm. uh, they're in a marsh. So I use the topaz to, and then I just carved back out uh, the ducks. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. Got great color on the, mm. the male yeah. there. Yeah. And that eye is just perfect. Mm -hmm. Now, does he have water on him? Is that what I'm seeing? Yeah. Like water drops. Right. That's awesome. Really cool. Yeah. Right there. Yep. Mm. It's nice to see the two together. Yeah. Are those broad bills or? They look like it. Yeah. They're northern, they're northern oh, shovelers. At first, I thought they was uh, mallards. Oh. I don't think they're mallards. No, no. no. They're shovelers. So there you go. Shovelers. Shovelers. Yeah, that's they're right. Yeah. That's, the, that's what the bill are. gave them away. I was sure. Of it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think I, the only thing that came to mind was broad bill. Then yeah, that wasn't right. <laughs> Nice. You look on the edge of that female bill, you can see that she's got little strainers down the side there. And they yep. eat on the surface. They don't dive much, but they filter. They have these little filter things on the side of their bill. All right. Oh, oh. oh. cool. Mm. Very good. Oh, very nice. Describe that. Uh, yeah. You know, I just... Uh, kind of this struck me because of the shape of the wings mm -hmm. were so much like an airplane uh -huh. and you know you just uh they were just we mimic a bird fl in flight <laughs> with <laughs> our airplanes today and it's just yeah. it's just a poorly airplane. but we do yeah, yeah. <laughs> i mean i think those wingspans are about six seven feet yeah and yeah they're like yeah amazing. yeah but, the way they point their toes yeah mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> it's yeah. neat that you got the wing yeah. like yeah. almost in unison and then the three together oh, that's yeah pretty, yeah. pretty amazing awesome. yeah For, formation flying yeah. yeah 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 that's right they were all in good formation there yeah. it's it really so the only thing i did to it was i put on a an LUD filter, you know, kind of just uh, warmed it up. Yeah. Mm. Really uh, awesome. Okay, so the next one. Aww. Oh. Yeah, so <laughs> you woke him up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, this is a, a bar. There's a little barn over uh, near the place where you stop and get out of your car and then take your gear. And it's just an old barn. I don't know what, but anyways, this this old owl was living in that. And um, but I wondered what um, kind of like see. You, I didn't want to just do a, a filter on topaz that covered the whole thing. I wanted to pop, let him pop out, but. Um, I don't know. Anybody got any suggestions on what to do with that? That's kind of, um, I don't know. Does it bother anybody? It bothers me a little bit around, just a little too clean around the edges. Yeah. Well, I, I'd bring whatever you got <laughs> going here in, you know, just right to him. And then maybe I, what do you think of darkening up around <laughs> a little bit with a vignette? Yeah. Uh, I was, was going to say, Sandy, uh, using the uh, mm -hmm. masking properties in Lightroom, if you did just subject, select mm -hmm. subject, yeah. and then invert that, um, if you get the mm -hmm. L in really well with the in, and, and then invert it, and then take um, the exposure and stuff back, I mean, down, yeah. uh, and the shadows down, and so he would pop out a whole lot more. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, I would definitely darken the uh, yeah. background up quite a bit. 
And you can blur that background with that filter too. I mean, if you want to take the sharpness and everything down. Yeah, you take the sharpness and texture down. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know if you're familiar with that. Let, let's just to see uh, camera raws. It is in Lightroom. So we'll just go over there. Now, he's a little soft to select subject, but we'll give it a try here. Yeah. See how well it can do that. Yeah, not bad. Hmm. Not bad. Yeah. Okay. So we can do that. And then um, you can go into add here and use a brush. And then um, just make sure you have auto mask on and get his tail in there too. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. Right. Take a little bit on the top right here. Yeah. Yeah, a little yeah. bit there. And use your alter option key you can go back and forth between plus and minus to clean it up there yep. okay. and once you have it you can uh, go in here and you know we have to do the next one um, invert it invert yeah, yeah. Well, let's let's see if i invert subject if it'll invert brush with it i think it will no it will not uh, all right so we have to invert the brush as well so you have to do them both. Oh, nope. <laughs> That's strange. All right, so we'll just take a negative here and on this brush layer. See what happens here. No, it doesn't want to do anything. Very weird. Well, I'm going to delete that. We'll just get rid of it again. Let's see here. Delete brush. And this time we're going to subtract. Yeah. Yeah, subtract with a brush. And there we go. I see. All right. So instead of adding it along with it, we'll just subtract it later. And we'll have to do the same thing up here again. OK. So that's how that works. So once you have that, what you can do now it's going to do the frame and everything else unless we mask it off but i'm not going to bother right now so you can darken that down uh, yeah what a difference yeah. yeah then if you want to um you know get down here to clarity you can take some of the clarity out if you want to soften that up a little <laughs> more you can take the sharpness down a little bit yeah very cool yeah <laughs> It's not often that you get such good light on an owl because they're mm -hmm. not out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Really good. Then light. If you want to bring a little bit of this back, um, you know, you could uh, do another subtract the brush and Eh, not that big. Maybe so yeah. well, we'll take the flow rate way down. And then we just want to kind of bring this stuff back a little bit. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I intended to do. Yeah. Yeah, you could, you could, you know, just bring a little of this a little sharper if you want, just mm -hmm. to tie it together. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Nice. Yeah. Very good. So that's what I would do, Jim. Great. Okay. Okay. Advice. Sure. Thank you. Yeah. So I guess we say yes instead of no. Come on. Right. Okay. So, I like the reflections. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I just think it, I thought this one was a like kind of a toe dance of. <laughs> yeah. So again, nothing much. I don't know what to do with that else. Where what would you guys do? What do you think? I think I'd work on the, the background and give it some punch. It it just looks like what it is, mud. Mud. Yeah. yeah. Or go the other way and just darken it down with the, yeah. 
that the yeah. birds pop. Yeah. So again, same treatment. Let's just do this real quick. You can go either way, but basically what you're going to do is go in here. Let's see if select subjects going to work for us. Yeah. There you go. Wow. Good. <clears throat> good job. Perfect. Okay. Just about perfect. Yes. Wow. All right. And then we're gonna invert that. Okay. And then I would take a brush and just subtract everything you don't want to mess with. Yeah. Yeah, really quickly. So just hit subtract, get brush. In this case, I'd like to block it out real quick. So I'm going to turn auto mask off and I'll make a really big brush. And I'm just going to. Doesn't want to take it off. Does... Oh, we got flow way down. That's why. There we go. There you go. Yeah. Okay. So then we're going to make it small. And we're going to go over here and turn mask on. Then we're going to go up here and take care of this edge. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then you, when you uh, want to darken the background, it'll just affect that area. Mm -hmm. or you can make, yeah, or you can make it any, any color you want. You can, make yeah. it you can lighten it up if, if you want to go that way. Yeah, yeah. You know, a number of things. Um, let's say maybe we lighten it up a little bit and then we add another mask and we do a gradation. You know, we just, just a yeah. little like that. You know, just to give it a little shape. Maybe move uh -huh. it like that. Now, so it's gonna be on the bird. So again, if we wanna subtract with a brush, keep our auto masking on, Make our brush size a little bit smaller. Pull that back. See? There you go. Yeah, it's an it's an incredible yeah. tool. They well, I shouldn't say they've really improved it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, big change there. Yeah, very good. <laughs> okay. Hopefully that'll help you out. All right. Now all I gotta do is Oops. buy camera raw. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but even even with JPEGs, you get a little bit uh, enough. It, it just depends on whether you're banding or not. That was all of yours, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, let's go to Jim Murphy. Okay, so I I, I started. You know, Don showed the uh, neural filter for winter, and so I was playing with these neural filters this morning. They were blowing my mind when landscape the, the things they were doing, and um, I, I also included the original photo here. It kind of messed up the horses, but as, as was pointed out, you can do a layer and then paint them back in. That's the original layer. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, that's the original. And, uh, and then I just, I really didn't do much. Hit that, and it looks very, <laughs> it looks very wintry, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. yes, it does. Yeah. P pretty, pretty amazing, so. Uh, I, also, there was one where you could put in green grass everywhere, and it looked real, pretty realistic, too, and oh. all these different ones. It was, it was pr pretty fun yeah. to play with. A lot of potential yeah. in it. Yeah, I, I look at what it did with the color too. It really See, the tractor, yeah. the tractor disappeared over there too. Yeah, the yeah. Tractor on the left. Yeah. Well, it looks like it added stuff from another image, which which yeah. is things it, uh, it does do uh, is actually going out there and looking for other images that are similar to, to well, film. Mm, 
I did another, another one which uh, had mesquite trees and I did a winter scene and I put in like, right. a bunch of fir, fir trees. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was watching a demo of this somewhere and it, it, there was a bunch of houses on the shoreline of a lake and there were like seven or eight houses and three of them changed. Mm. Yeah, houses. <laughs> I was like, whoa. <laughs> it's kind of mind blowing. That, you know, you're just not sure yeah. what it's going to do. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, kind of pretty fun to play with. I need to play with it some more. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Pretty slick. Yeah. So are you happy with that drone now? Really well, I'm a little happier with it, but I'm still thinking I maybe I need to spend a little more money. So this is another drone shot here. Hmm. And, uh, you know, I processed it quite a bit. And uh, wow. Yeah, I like that. That's so nice. Topaz yeah. and so That's forth. Crazy. This is down uh, Aravaca Road, looking back at the Santa Cruz mountains. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, it's 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 kind of fun. It's kind of fun. So, yeah. I, yeah. I also flew up in the Mata water tank. I flew around it and took some pictures of it, but it didn't come out very good. So, um, yeah, you just kind of trying to you're trying to video. Yeah, there's the elephant. There. You're just trying to visualize. You know, normally when you take a photo, you're looking at something and you visualize it and everything. In your mind, you're trying to visualize what's what's it going to look like when I go up and you know up in the air. And sometimes it's kind of hard to visualize it, pre-visualize what you're what you're trying to do. So you just have to kind of try it and see what happens. Yeah. That's just a stunning. Yeah. Oh, Maureen, yeah, there's horses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's horses. Yeah. The uh, I had I did another version. I I love purple. I put I think I put too much purple in the sky on the first uh, version, so I backed it off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very Are the good. horses out there quite a bit, or they just happen to be there? I don't go down there very much, so uh, I think I don't know. Okay. But there were several places with horses there along the road. So, so is yes, this on the east side of I-19? Yeah, this would be on the west side. Oh, west on the west side. side. Heading towards uh, Aravaca, going past the checkpoint. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh. Yeah, they, they have quite a bit of horses out that way. Right. Yeah, I think you can find quite a, quite a few places with horses. So. Uh, yeah, that's a keeper. Nice. Yeah, it is. That, that is nice. Yeah, but I wouldn't do a thing with it. Okay. Yeah, and uh, oh. Valentine's Day is coming up. I thought I'd <laughs> get your plug in. Huh? Yeah. Okay. That's nice. Wow. Now you didn't do this. This is the photograph. You didn't manipulate it by <laughs> taking it and cloning it and going. Oh, I did manipulate it, yes. Okay. Yeah. So it's the same, it's basically the same bird. I just oh, uh, mirror uh, image it over. I flipped him over. Okay. Because yeah. hmm. I thought, how in the world could you get it so perfect? Yeah, those yeah. beaks right at the throat. I know. Both sides. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I dropped a little hint Good of job. shadow in here just to tie it together, Jim. What's that? Drop a little hint of a shadow on this beak. Oh, drop a hint of shadow in there. Okay, yeah, I didn't think of that. That's a good yeah, yeah. tie it together. I think you'll you'll yeah. be there. Yep, definitely. Yeah. Cool, nice. Very nice. Very, Very interesting. interesting. Very yeah. nice. Yeah. Perfect. I had to work some birds in somehow. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well, thanks. Yeah. All right, Steve and Wendell. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. Well, this was uh, the giraffe over at Safari Park in Suarita. Oh, uh, oh. It's, a, it's a big bronze sculpture. <laughs> oh, okay. And um, I threw a filter on it in Topaz uh, and then did a little, um, some gradient uh, brushes, or I should say gradient filters in, in Lightroom to bring the edges and the top. Mm. And bottom um, down a little bit and um, darken it a little bit. So, mm. but I, I kind of mm. like the effect of the uh, the background. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> and all the trees were in it as oh yeah, the trees, yeah. The trees were there yes yeah mm -hmm. yeah got nice open space in the middle to emphasize the giraffe yeah yeah there's a hot spot on his butt i think i would take yeah. it just uh, <laughs> yeah, that could that could be darkened down real yeah, yeah, just a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Very nice. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. Different point of view too. Yeah. Yeah. Behind, behind them. Okay. So is that out Sarawita Road or? Yeah, if you go down by Fry's, um, you know, the entrance to Fry's, just keep going down. Um, you turn turn left off Florida Road and then go past the shopping center there or over the hill and around the corner and the park is going to be on your left. Oh, okay. And you'll probably notice it because there's two giant flamingos uh, in the pool oh. area. So uh, they're got to be 20 feet tall. Oh, and, all right. so, and this was taken at the museum and at the uh, mission in Tumacacari. Right. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Now I had yeah. to do a lot of work and take a lot of stuff out of this picture because there is, I guess, uh, placards that are chained to the desk, uh, kind of explaining what's going on here, and uh, so oh. that had to be pulled out. Um, and after I got done with all the removals, I just took it into Topaz, and I think it might be a watercolor filter I put on there. So. Oh, very nice. Yeah. But I, I think it, it turned out fairly well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice painterly look. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe yeah. toning down his top of his head a little bit might help. Yeah. It's high yeah. in his face more, and maybe maybe lightening up just his cheekbones and around his eye. Yep. Yeah. Just a hair. Okay. Yeah. Good suggestion. Nice. And here comes the weird. <laughs> <laughs> this is just, I don't know what the plant is, but it's a seed pod from one of the desert oh, plants okay. out here. Yeah. Um, and this was one of my mirror things that I mm -hmm. split in half and stuck back together. But uh, yeah, it's just uh, alien life form here. Very much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and how'd you get the color on that? Um, that's just uh, probably a filter in Topaz, oh. I'm pretty sure. Color is mm. wonderful. Yeah. And that is one that's, yeah. I, I want to say it's, uh, it was green when I got it, um, mm. pretty much. Yeah. But, but you've got purples and yellows and gold, yeah. and blues. Yeah. And Orange. Orange, yeah. 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 At the bottom, it looks like a mouth. Like I thought it was an insect of some sort. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm. yeah. It almost looks oh. like a cross between a puffer fish and a sea anemone. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think you Photoshop a couple bird eyes right in there. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> or just one. Yeah. Just yeah. one right in the center. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. yeah, and so the, the next one is the uh, same type of pod, only this is dried out and open. And, oh. uh, yeah. it looks like a sculpture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So just finding things in the local environment yeah. that uh, can be used and yeah, yeah, made a stranger. Right. <laughs> <laughs> then they already are. Yeah. yeah. You're Certainly accomplishing that. <laughs> oh. And the little black things are just the seeds inside the pot oh. itself. Oh, yeah. 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 This wow. also looks like an MRI of a brain scan or something. <laughs> that, too. <laughs> that, too. Yeah, Steve's. That's Steve's MRI. <laughs> <laughs> I, I doubt if it'd be that organized. Yeah. Steve on yeah. Desert. Um, yeah. I would try no, one of these off so it doesn't look so obviously symmetrical and flipped, you know. I mean, oh, one of these, oh. you know, just kind of look around for things that repeat and, and just mm -hmm. knock one off one side and then maybe one off another, and, and yeah. that gives it a little more believability. 
Nice. Yeah, you, this guy looks like an alien in here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got a lot of faces huh. you know, here, too. Mm -hmm. Is that old John on there? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And this one oh, was wow. just uh, <laughs> another piece of a, a plant out there that uh, I pulled up uh, and kind of held up into the sun while I took the shot through it mm. uh, and then split it and put it back together mm. in Photoshop. So this <laughs> is uh, my, my foliage teddy bear. So <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. So yeah. Kind of a yeah. demonic dragon, teddy bear. Yeah, it's like a dragon on top. Yeah. yeah. So again, just using what was available to me. Uh, Very creative. Much. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. You almost have enough for a series of these. You know? Yeah. 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 I probably do, Sandy. I have to go through and put. I've got a folder set aside called the Mirror Project. So. Oh. Okay. Probably need to go ahead and, and kick up a series and maybe give it to. Uh, the folks over there to, to run on one of their, um, not sure what they call it here anymore. I have oh, the name of it just. Showtime? Yeah, Showtime, that's it. Yeah, yeah, about 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah. I'll just have to have a Nine Inch Nails soundtrack that goes with it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Excellent. Well, thanks. Yeah. Sure. Great. Good fun. Very cool. Okay, Wendell. Okay, now mine are pretty straight compared to what we just saw. <laughs> anyway, uh, last week I had a couple from the Sarita Library, the new building, and this I just brought in because it illustrates a little more of what the one side yeah. sword Sarita Road looks like on those two different shaped yeah. uh, structures. And for those that were in the black and white group, they probably remember this one. Mm -hmm. that's, anyway, a really nice, that's a really nice shot, Wendell. I like that. Well, well thank you. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty much a documentary thing, but it just yeah. basically using Lightroom managed to make it a little more dramatic than what it uh, was in the color. So, anyway. Uh, that's uh, about all I can say about that one, I guess. Ah, very nice. Very nice. Thank you. Okay. Now, the rest of these I are mean, all... Oh, go ahead. No, I was really well balanced, Wendell. Well, yeah. Great composition. Oh, thank you. Anyway, uh, the last four are all taken from the trip we had at Christmas. Uh, these were taken in Riverside, California, right in downtown. And this was in a little coffee shop right along a closed off Main Street, that's now a pedestrian mall. And so we had coffee there after walking around. And I liked the decoration they did on the front windows of the oh, yeah. shop. All these crates, which I suspect are created. They weren't real crates, but... Uh, anyway, it was an interesting look to it and colors. And then I like the chair and chairs and table. Yeah. Front is part of the scene to fit in with the subject. Now, well, I really this like is, the level that, that you took it at, too, because you're, you're, normally if you took it standing up, probably you'd had <laughs> the tabletop would have taken up too much of the picture. This year, yeah. you almost don't see the table at first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I was actually sitting uh, in the, the table next to it. Uh, is how that happened. <laughs> so, oh, okay. One of those serendipity things, I guess. Otherwise, I might have, as you said, get got more of the tabletop in it. But uh, now, this I need to ask Sandy about. Uh, I'd taken it at an angle, so I did all the skewing distortion thing to get it to where it the perimeter of the image is pretty much in line with the uh, frame of the crates. But what I wanted to do was to 
pull up the middle at the top and pull down the middle at the bottom because you can see in the line of the, the wooden frame, it kind of sags in the middle. Mm -hmm. And Sandy, a couple of weeks ago, I think, I believe it was in the Photoshop uh, liquify tool that you used to, uh, in the case of uh, live models, you might take a little weight off or something. Yeah. Uh, and I, I couldn't find how you did that on all sorts of... I think liquify, you might get a little waviness because these are very linear lines. I'm just wondering yeah. if oh. maybe it might lend itself to doing a warp. Uh, oh. Just, just very subtle warp. So yeah. now let's just double click it so we got it not be in the background. We'll make it a little smaller just to get to it. And uh, I'm going to use app, Apple T for transform. Okay. So once you're in transform, if you right click, you've got all these different things you can do. Okay. Or being one of them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now what you can do is, uh, yeah. You can just grab. Oh, th yeah, that's doing it, I think. Pull it up slightly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then do, this, do the opposite on the bottom. Yeah, okay. You know, and that might be enough to take care of it. Okay, that's the, the missing link. Got these little handles where you can actually yeah. you know, okay. work it uh, one side or the other. But, you know, if you yeah. end up on warp, there's a lot you can do with it. Wow. Okay, yeah. Okay, that, that was what I was... Oh. And I think if you hold the shift key down, no, it doesn't. Yeah. In some of these transform, if you keep the shift key, it'll keep it, you know, vertical or horizontal. But you're just going to have to be careful how you pull it down. So if you go off in one direction or the other, it's going to. Oh yeah. So you, you really yeah. Have to, to take care of it that way. Yeah. But yeah, you could you could just uh, get it right. Yeah, that's what I was hoping. Yeah. Right about. There, I guess. Now, yeah. Yeah. Now, to make things easier, if you go into view, you can turn on your grid, or oh yeah, or you can even do like Command R to get your rulers, and then just drag down a guide. Which yeah. You okay. Start above it, and you drag it down, and put it where you want it. So, mm -hmm. so you, can, you can actually see if these things are on the money. I guess we did a pretty yeah. good job. Pretty good. Yeah. You know, maybe one more in the middle there. Oh. Yeah, just so you got something to work against. Okay, yeah, good a idea. A little more helpful. Yeah. Okay. okay, so if I hit escape here, you can see where it's off a little bit. All righty. Okay, well, thank you. That's sure what I needed. Yep. Yeah, and then I think maybe a little very subtle gradation on here just to pull in and, and, and make this the center of your grad so, so oh. a little darker here and then just a little on the edges rather than you know the grad being in the middle shifted over to oh this vertical here mm -hmm. that, that would be okay. yeah but this also has the photoshop oil paint uh, mm -hmm. in it which uh, didn't change too much from what it was originally but anyway did you mask it off the table or it just didn't affect the table and chairs? Uh, no, I didn't mask them. Uh, actually, that's right. Looking on the legs of the table there, it doesn't look like it did anything. But yeah, maybe, maybe just a dash so you can see the highlights, but yeah, it looks yeah. Like it leaves the blacks alone. Yeah. Yeah, you can see just a, just a tad bit of it in the highlights now. Yeah. Yeah. Nice yeah. touch. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. This uh, is a little place there in Riverside called Mariposa Alley, which is a thin or narrow little alley. And one side they've got a painted mural of butterflies. And then they've also got a number of these uh, metal sculpture butterflies mounted on the wall. And these are all made out of flattened tin cans. 
Mm. You can see yeah. like they yeah. must have had big juice cans or something. Yeah. You can see the lines as they rolled them out flat. Uh, those uh, deformations show up. And this one doesn't show it, but some of the other butterflies were made up using the lids of the cans, all the round lids. Yeah. And it's really quite a neat place. And, and I'd say there's at least a dozen of these butterflies of different sizes mounted on the wall. This one is probably oh, eight feet or something like that. Wow. Tall. So, and the, there's one of these down near uh, ground level that is set vertical so that people can stand in front of it and they form the body of the butterfly and then the wings go out either side of them. We've oh. got some of those. So anyway, it's, it's kind of hard to find, but uh, we did locate it. Google Maps knows where it is. <laughs> but anyway, I just had to put it in because of um, the fact it was some unusual. So mm -hmm. let's see, I got to plug in some power here. Be right back. Sure. What do you guys think of maybe uh, toning on the background a bit to get some depth? Mm -hmm. What would you do? Anybody? Well, I guess you do pretty much the same thing that you showed me. You know, you just select the subject and and then paint in the background darker. Yeah, that's, that could do it. I'd almost like to see some texture on those bricks. I don't know why. There's, mm -hmm. It might be too dis, it might be too um, okay. in competition with the butterfly though. Yeah. So while you're gone, when we were talking about maybe darkening the background, the bricks a little bit, and maybe put a little more texture in them to, to kind of oh, okay. make the butterflies stand off a little more. Yeah, that might, yeah, get them maybe even blur it enough to make the sharper butterflies stand out. Yeah. I like that idea. Mm -hmm. Take some of the saturation out of the bricks. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, did play around with the color a little bit on it, but didn't take it too far off. I probably made it more brown than it actually is. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Yeah. I guess that's all on that one. Okay. This is inside the uh, Mission Inn Hotel where we stayed, the historic hotel. And Anytime I see a spiral stairway like this, I have oh, yeah. to get a picture of it. But this one was nice with the Christmas decorations and, and the white and the red, and then the little blue mm -hmm. uh, pond or fountain down at the bottom. Oh, yeah. So this was just pretty much straightforward Lightroom and Photoshop. I took out a few little spots and things, but Otherwise, didn't do a whole lot with it. I love all the details and the circles and. Yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. Yeah, and all the the lamps that they got around those ornate metal mm -hmm. uh, bodies to them, and then what looks like a coat of arms on the well, on the left side. There's a yellow and red and black, yeah. uh -huh. like the some German. Uh, coat of arms, and then I see some others around. I oh, yeah. don't know what the history of that is. Mm -hmm. But anyway, very interesting hotel down there. Yeah. And I kind of wonder why they have the yellow caution. Um, oh, that just the steps at the, at the bottom <laughs> and not at the top. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is interesting. Yeah, I hadn't thought about that. I uh, th thought that was just decoration, but that does look like uh, that's what the idea is. Maybe it's because that's the main place foot traffic would go. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people go to that balcony. Yeah. 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 Do, you, do you use uh, Luminar at all, Wendell? No. 
No, I don't. This was. Uh, yeah. yeah. Use Topaz? Yes, Topaz. I. Yeah. Yeah, Topaz. Uh, I, it just needs some more pop with hmm. contrast and detail, I think. Uh huh. And it, it just get yeah. it flattened out. And I think that would help. Yeah. Um, well, I haven't used Topaz in a while, but let's, let's just do a couple of things there. Uh, move you guys over here. Let's see. Well, I've already got a look here somewhere. Let me go back to. Hmm. Now I'll just I'll just start from scratch. So we're going to do precision contrast, precision detail. So I got these two up, and then uh, I'm going to uh, start with the contrast. And Julie, I I overdo them just to see what they're doing. I, that's kind of splotching it up. I don't like that. Let's do the medium here. Yeah, just a little of that. And sometimes high. Yeah, I'm gonna go the. I don't think it's too hot. Maybe just just a hair of high. And then we'll go with the detail. See if small's doing. Yeah, so so see, it might be a little too much, but it kind of gives you an idea where you can take this. Mm -hmm. I think I probably did use the vibrance in mm -hmm. uh, yeah. camera raw. Yeah, but I didn't go too far with it. I don't think. Yeah, I think that's a little too much. So I, you can just take your opacity down a little bit. Oh, okay. Would you take that white at the very bottom down a little bit? Which? The white stairs at the bottom of the photograph. It's so white, it kind of hurts my eyes. Over here? Yeah. Yeah, you, you could easily do that. You lost a lot of the detail in there, too. Yeah, yeah, you could easily do that in camera raw before you start. And then maybe maybe even just darken this area down a little to get this to pop. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I thought about brightening up the blue, but then didn't do it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, once you have that. Either you can do it before or after, but it, whoops, sent the wrong one. You've got a lot going on in that. Yeah, so so to get back to uh, Maureen wanted, turn off the rulers there. See if I can, this doesn't want, there it goes. Doesn't want to grab it. Uh, okay. But yeah, in camera raw, it would be very easy to selectively pick those areas. Yeah, and, yeah, pull the whites mm -hmm. down and the highlights down. Yeah, and just drop them down, so. Again, with this new filter tool, grab a brush and uh, generally, again, you can go one way or the other, do the edges first and then block it in or just block it in first. But I, I usually like to block it in. Just kind of see what's going on real quick. Yeah, because the other whites look good. You know, maybe maybe a little in here. All right, so we're just being messy, but I'm going to start with just taking the highlights down a little bit. And yeah, you already gotten a lot more texture. Yeah, the whites, and then we'll just take the maybe a little bit of exposure. Now you see how it's getting muddy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. What you can do is you can play with the temperature. You can warm it up a little bit. Oh. Oh, and, okay. You can add a little yeah. more red to it if you want. You know, magenta red. It's a little too dark, I think. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's better. Mm -hmm. Now my eye goes more down to the blue. Yeah. And you can see this this mask is pretty sloppy, but mm -hmm. it, holds it works. Up. Yeah, you see it a little bit in here, so you know you can just take take, take your brush and get rid of that. But that's okay, you know. That's you kind of you know you can you can dapple it off where where you don't want it. Mm -hmm. That's not too hard to do. See, there's a little bit in here. There you go. Yeah, my yeah. eye's not stuck on that spot anymore. Yeah, that's a good call. Then with another brush, you know, you can go in there and just uh, maybe uh, take this area down around here. Mm -hmm. Oops, get your negative brush and clean it off your main event here. Now, this has a pretty big um, feather on it, so I'm going to um, I'm going to take the feather down a bit and try and fill it in a little better. There we go. Go back. Now, make that a little smaller. Okay. So, again, you can just Take the exposure down just in here. Here's the highlights. Um, it's giving it a, a lot warm. more depth. Yeah. Yeah, I warm this up a little bit with magenta. It's gonna be, yeah. it's gonna be muddy. Yeah, maybe maybe just a little yellow in there. That'll help. You can, you can take it even down just a little more. There you okay. Go. Yeah. There. Nice. Nice. Yeah, if you want to keep going at it. You can. You know, mask off the fountain and, and then kick up the saturation or add some more coolness to it in your temperature and mm -hmm. you're good to go. Nice. Okay. Yeah. No, thank you. Sure. Let's see here. You got one more. Oh, fun. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, no day at this SIG is complete without at least one topaz. So this is it for today. Uh -huh. uh, this is, uh, again, on that uh, main street that's closed off. And they've got these giant metal flowers out there. And uh, well, actually, I guess I'm not sure they're metal. Uh, the flowers themselves might be a fabric, the way the light comes through. But I like the flowers but the background was a little messy but i didn't want to get rid of it completely i kind of liked the picket fence and the lady sitting on the bench to the left there so um, topaz impressionism is what uh, seemed to work the best to uh, get the focus on the flowers but have a, some atmosphere around them and i also used Lightroom and Photoshop for the basic editing. And on the right in the middle near that big rock, there was another stem of, I guess it was a flower behind. I had to take that out, which I could do in Photoshop, patch in the picket fence around there. But uh, other than that, it, there's not a whole lot of manipulation to it. The, Topaz did most of it. And I like that better than the original. It took out some of the messy detail, and like the foreground, uh, the mulch that they had on the ground there. I like what it did with the mulch. Yeah, it makes it more like flowing water rather than a bunch of bark and leaves. But anyway. I like this so art back here. Yeah, I uh, darkened that. So, and then the white side next to it, I really darkened. Uh -huh. But I, I didn't want to take them out completely. No, they, they add. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I could see if this was too light here, I would go with it right away. Yeah. yeah. But I left the white picket fence in just because I 
thought it was a major part of the picture. So, oh yeah, the fact that it's eye catching is goes with the territory, I guess, on that. Definitely. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you. Yeah, you know, there's some, just some I'm, amazing things with this impressionism on the leaves and the mulch mm -hmm. and even mm -hmm. the rock. Yeah. Yeah. Really swirly. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm noticing when I'm in topaz and I do a an adjustment and I always play around with the opacity. If I take the opacity down when I save that, brings it back into Photoshop, the opacity is down. Mm -hmm. it it's different. Yeah, it's different. It, it never yeah. matches. I know it's frustrating. Yeah, and so the yeah. one of them I had to actually put a, a black layer underneath it. Mm -hmm. So that um yeah. Yeah, I, I so that it I, wasn't that way. Yeah, I've, yeah. I've, on some images you have to give it more opacity, uh, and others you have to give it less to get it where you want it. Mm -hmm. And and the only thing you can do is save that look, so you can come back and do it again. Yeah. 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 Well, actually, this is a sixty-five percent opacity on the uh, filter, the mm -hmm. topaz filters. It I think had a little more effect at the full strength. Mm -hmm. So I did uh, take some of that down, but whether it shifted between taking it out of Topaz and the time I got it in the Photoshop again, I, I didn't notice it, whether it changed it. It was still acceptable uh, after going back to Photoshop. Yeah, I like this. It's, it's just such a, um, a very happy, um, colorful scene. Mm -hmm. really yeah. Good. And I do like the lady sitting there. It looks like she's peacefully having her coffee in the morning. This was probably about 10 or 11 in the morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so people are alive. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a couple more over to the right. By the, by yeah, the in, inside. Rock. Yeah. yeah. So. Really nice. Well, thank you. Nice. Anyway, that's what I had today. Good job, Michael. Yeah, yeah. Good job. <laughs> Okay. Oops, I want to do that. Close it up here. There we go. All righty. Well, we get the uh, Lightroom cranked up here. While you're doing that, I, I want to make one part comment about the neural landscape filters. One of the fun things is they have a button called customize and you can bring in any one of your photos and it will <laughs> it uses that as the basis to change the landscape it's amazing mm. Mm. Uh, you can bring in photos that are really non sequitur to a landscape don't have anything to do with landscape and it, it creates a landscape based on that it's it's, it's really wild wow <laughs> very cool yeah i guess we're gonna probably play around with that a little more it's pretty amazing what they're doing with AI these days. Well, I wanted to go to Rome and get the great shot of the Coliseum on yes. a sunny afternoon, but it's <laughs> the cards. Rain works too. So I decided to give it a real, real stormy sky. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, just gray and ugly. So here we are. Was he, yeah, he did his sky replacement? Yes. Oh, it's a great sky. Yeah. 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 That's the impressive. Sky, there was pretty bad, but this one really put that. That helps explain together. why there isn't more people than there is. Yeah. 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 We was there. That means there was just people everywhere. Well, mm -hmm. you go around the left side, there was a big line. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I guess they're they're doing some some work on it. A lot of stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Best yeah. concrete in the world, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, what they say. I, I kind of like the the umbrellas. It just kind of yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Nice rhythm. Yeah. So we we pretty much had this kind of weather the whole time we were there. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. at least in Rome. Oh yeah. Yeah. There's the forum. Oh yeah. Wow. Oh. So, that is so pretty at night when they yeah. light it up. Uh -huh. Yeah. 
Yeah, they were doing quite a bit of work on the bottom of that. I so see. A lot yeah. of tending mm -hmm. scaffolding and so on. Yeah. Wow. Did yeah, you take that from the Coliseum? No, actually, there's a um, there's a museum near the um, oh. I can't remember the name of the uh, the big monument that goes way up and has the sculptures on the top. But mm -hmm. actually, that museum where you go way up the stairs, uh, there's little windows on the when you go in the basement part of it, and and there's no glass in them. You, you can just look out onto. Oh, the that's cool. Oh, from there. I, I think it's the Michelangelo Di Diomo Duomo. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, it's right next to that. Yeah, it's between the Duomo and that that other. I'm kind of trying to remember. It's a it's a big monument. Uh, yeah, but it's the ones with the huge steps going up the hill. Hmm. And Tivoli, uh, of course. Yeah, on the fountain. Yeah. yeah I just kind of worked my way into the front and uh, yeah, yeah, try to get it without any people around it. You've got very interesting lighting on these. Did you do a lot to change that, or was it just the atmosphere of the days? That... It was a little bit of both. Now, in this one, I, I, I selected the, the subject being the building, and I warmed it up, and then I, hmm. I, I selected the sky and darkened it down to, to get a little more contrast to it. Okay. Yeah. And then I darkened the buildings to the left and right of it so that they weren't so, oh, yeah. Yeah. so they receded back a bit. Oh. Building's nice and straight. Yeah. Yeah, I shot this with like a 11 millimeter, so I had to do a little bit of perspective adjustment too. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. Good. Yeah. It's great yeah. detail. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty amazing place. Mm -hmm. yeah, oh, Oculus. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. In the line, waiting to get in the door, and I just grabbed that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, with a, I think this was a, like 11 millimeter. Hmm. Just catch the angle. Yeah. Still a little different point of view. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, lead you right in. Yeah, I wish yeah, you then up, up and out. Yeah. Clouds. I was almost thinking of putting you know, like a blue sky with clouds Ooh. up there, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. Just kind of looks yeah. a gray day for now. It, it just cooled it off a little bit because it was just mm. yeah. yeah kind of just gray before and you got a, a nice contrast between the inside tones and the face of the door and the bluish outside right really makes it jump out yeah exactly mm. yeah that's why i decided to cool this off a little bit too so mm -hmm. I can cool yeah from there yeah yeah Yeah, oh. <laughs> so it's current. What? That's so <laughs> <laughs> that, that puts the date on it, all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're on their little pallets. They almost look like you know sculptures that they mm -hmm. from a forklift. <laughs> yeah. Huh. No eye contact. I kept trying to get some, but it wasn't happening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. huh. yeah, pallets are just so it's a little softer place to stand for eight hours or <laughs> yeah and i think it really keeps them up in the air too yeah yeah mm -hmm. love the colors of their costumes yeah they're really bright and this was just uh, in the evening on one of the bridges coming mm. back yeah Beautiful. Yes. And it's not raining. Exactly. <laughs> I think they clear it up, but uh, yeah, it was great the next morning. Yeah, mm -hmm. I would I would lighten the face up a little bit. I, I want to see it. Yeah. I can't see it. I think it's got a little bit of detail, but yeah, I could probably pull up a little more in there. Because your eye just goes right to the knee and the groin. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, true. Um, I'd like to see the face a little more. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the underlining. Okay, I think that's it. 
Yeah. These are, oh, oh, that's these nice. Are, oh, yeah. I'll show these two. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah. Little door. I like that it's not sym symmetrical. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a little, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. A little different. What great wood grain. Mm -hmm. I was very, very weathered. Mm -hmm. That's part of my doors and knockers series. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, oh. I like that. Yeah. Is that door metal? Yes. Okay. Mm. Yeah. I think I've got I like, the, I like the pigeons and the wire in there. That's a little <laughs> more reality to it. And the reflections in the glass. A mm. lot going mm. on in there. Oh, yeah. Great texture on the exterior mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. yeah. and then you've got those leaves at the very top that are just pointing right down <laughs> to mm -hmm. the door so yeah. here's where you're supposed to look right here yeah i had to move right. around to get those just where they, they, they made sense because i couldn't get a point of view where they weren't there so oh yeah good job otherwise i'd be shooting up into it too much <laughs> <laughs> yeah but, oh. old postcard show yeah, mm. always nice. Happy. I like the reflection in the window glass there. Yeah. And oh, that looks like a fun place store. to go in. Yeah. I like the one on the lower right with all the gears. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. huh. Interesting. Oh, yeah. Is that like an altar or? These are all outside. Uh, okay. A lot of the little mountain towns, they had these. Hmm. I think I have one more here. Yeah, this one's a little more. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Wow. Impressive. Yep, that goes on to something else. Well, yeah, yeah it's very good. Exactly. Yeah, I'll end with that one. Fresh olive, olive oil <laughs> and herbs. There you go. Yep. Okay. Pepper flakes. Alrighty. Very nice. Thanks. Oh, very good. Okay, let me uh, stop sharing and stop recording. <clears throat>